Hi, it's Feltus Angel. Follow my journey building an entertainment business. Hi, welcome back to the channel. I am so happy to see you once again. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my video. Um, this video is really going to be about alternative ways of using vision boards instead of just, and I call it envisioning. <laughs> I call it envisioning because basically what you're doing is that you're using the the idea of the vision board and you're using it in a different way. So vision boarding, it's nothing new. If you don't know what vision boarding is, vision boarding is when you collect a bunch of pictures and a bunch of sayings and put it together to inspire you for your future, the things that you want in your life. I do that, do this vision boarding stuff a lot. And so I'm going to give you a couple of tricks that I use. One of the things that um, I just got this really cool um, photo album. No one, no one uses photo albums anymore, right? So instead of, you know, there's no really, no, no real way to recycle this really right um you can toss it in the garbage and it, this really is not like recyclable material i mean i suppose at some point it'll break down but um it'd be a shame to throw this away right what i'm gonna do with this is that i'm gonna make a little vision booklet with it and again i call this process envisioning because you're just transforming something that you have into a tool to envision your future um so what i what i do okay so in each one of these books they have this these sheets it what you would do is you would put little photos in here right so instead of putting little photos you can put little pictures that you've cut out and you see like little pictures that you've cut out from magazines any picture that you want anything that inspires you anything that gets your blood pumping i also cut out words and all sorts of really cool ideas um tons of pictures from various magazines i always collect magazines and I started cutting them and envisioning my future. And that really helps to get you through like times when things are kind of down, you're having a rough day, your body's aching, you're not really feeling like motivated and you can just look at your little booklet or your vision board and uh, there it is. Uh, you know your your dreams for your future it's right there and then you get like a um, label maker right you get a little label maker I love this one this is an easy label printer um, label by Casio it's so cute so the really convenient thing about using this is that they come in a nice index card um, size and I believe it's four by six just even if you have free time to do the vision board because it really just kind of reinforces your desire and also it keeps you kind of uh, tapped in to the environment that you really want to be in or the the things that you really want to do so like if you're into fitness and you're, you buy a lot of fitness magazines, you're immersing yourself in that world and you're helping yourself learn about fitness, get more motivated for fitness, and really make those transformations that you really want to see. And I feel like the vision boarding really taps into a primal place. It makes you ready to do this thing that you want to do because you've seen it. Every once in a while, I'll look at my vision board and say, it's not edited enough. Some things have to go because I want to focus in on A or B or whatever it happens to be. It's pretty simple. It's pretty awesome. You just get the magazine clippings and go for it. I also have a wall in my apartment that is completely dedicated to vision you know, the vision that I see myself in 
I don't know how many years and I put I put it all on this wall like everything that's motivating and exciting to me and I uh, have just collected a whole bunch of little magazine clippings that I am placing in in a specific order some for some of them and some of them are are kind of just random but I, I want to see all these things that are going to motivate me for like the next couple of months that will help me to just realize like hey yeah these are some goals that you really want to head for like these are some things that you really want and don't forget them don't forget you wanted to have abs of steel for instance <laughs> you know or don't forget you wanted to make twenty thousand dollars in a weekend and how are you going to do that it, it's not that's not on that's not what's on my <laughs> my vision board but it's an example like maybe it should be <laughs> um, you know it's an example of something so if I can't find the words that I'm looking for I get the label maker out and put my own words on and attach them to my vision boards and the words that you want to associate with your particular um, item should really be about um, sending your mind subliminal messages right because you're gonna kind of look at this I'm, I'm hoping you use it daily that's how I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use mine daily or even weekly like at least once a week go through it and look at it and see what's in there and 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 you look the things that don't really feed your soul you know kick those babies out don't even bother using those um, and the other really cool thing about this yeah you can you can update this as you go along. You don't have to just be stuck with what you put in this book. You can you can update this as you go along. Take things out and put new ones in. And um, the cool thing about this particular book, I, I don't know if there are other ones out there I'm sure on Amazon there'll be plenty but if you know you know hit up grandma because I'm sure she has a couple of these books you know or or anyone who's like over the age of 60 they'll have one of these empty books like hanging around and you know you can take these guys oh you know where's a good place to get these too um, if you go to like a thrift store you can probably find a whole bunch of these guys because um, thrift stores you know they have stuff like this you can't really like I said before you can't really toss this away so it'd be nice to recycle this kind of um, object in our own way um, as a as a human being right <laughs> I'm doing my duty as a human being to help recycle this particular thing I found this actually in the free bin in my um, at, at work I, I, we do a lot of exchanges and um, uh, one of the girls at work brought this and I was like yes I know what to do with this I know exactly what to do with this so yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end it right there. <laughs> All right, so well that's how I envision my future, and that's how I I that's how you can use alternative ways of using vision boards. You can don't always have to use a vision board. You can use other items like this i'm so happy to share that with you and i hope that helps someone out there who's looking to do a little bit of envisioning or vision boarding and um i am also going to um let you guys know that i'm going to be doing a lot more videos so please subscribe if you haven't and if you're a subscriber thank you so much for supporting the channel <laughs> If you haven't done so already, click the bell icon so you can be the very first to get my next video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.